Hey, what's going on? It's Instructor Mike. You can follow me on Facebook at Mike Brown or Instructor Mike. Follow me on Instagram at Yes Mike Said It. You can also subscribe to my YouTube page at Instructor Mike. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications. We're going to do as many reps as we can in low failing light in under a minute. Why is this important? Because you're not going to always be in a lot of light and you need to know where your equipment is. Here's my baton, my firearm, my handcuffs, my magazine, my taser if it were here, and my flashlight off my radio holder. Nothing is on the small of my back. Why is nothing on the small of my back? In the event I fall, I don't want my spine to be affected by that, okay? So, we're gonna go on ahead and use the Glock Model 19, favorite firearm. Why is that the case? Well, one, that's the firearm that I'm carrying. Two, we wanna make sure that we follow the three basic firearm safety rules. One, assume every firearm is loaded, point that firearm in a safe direction, and keep your finger off of the trigger and outside of the trigger guard. So we're gonna go on ahead and unload this firearm by removing the ammunition source. We're gonna go on ahead and lock this slide to the rear, just like so, okay? Allow the round to fall. Here's another quick lesson. Anything on the ground stays on the ground. If a threat's there and you reach down, you may be down with that thing you're trying to reach for, okay? One, no magazine is in the well, and no round is in the chamber, just like so. And I'm gonna double check it. No magazine in the well, great. No round in the chamber. Point that firearm in a safe direction. Press the trigger. The firearm is considered clear. Now in our magazine, we're gonna use snap caps. Snap caps are actual rounds that are not live, but they are shaped like they are actual the rounds that go into the firearm. This is shaped in nine millimeter and it has no live primer, no gunpowder on the inside of it. We're gonna insert this magazine back inside of this firearm, I'm gonna insert our magazine or our firearm back inside of the holster, okay? And I'm gonna have my assistant time me and I'm gonna close my eyes. Let's start with these reps. Go. Perfect. Now, some will say that's slow, some will say that's fast. I'll leave that up to you, but I do know this. Grab that firearm every time, establish a good two-hand grip every time, put that firearm out, and lock those arms out every time, okay? Here's another tactic I'm gonna go on ahead and teach you. How to use your support hand in the event your strong hand gets injured. Why am I using strong hand, support hand? The hand that is holding the gun is called your strong hand. That could be your right, your left, most of us that know how to use firearms with both hands, we're ambidextrous. So I'm gonna go on ahead and use my support hand, which supports the strong hand, and I'm going to engage grabbing this firearm, okay? First thing I wanna do is know the limitations of my holster. And as you can see, I'm with the Safariland SLS holster, okay? And some would say this is a level four because the hood counts as one level of security. The retention screw counts as another. You have the sentry guard that actually locks the SLS hood, and then you have the SLS hood along with the ALS lock, that actually locks around the actual ejection port, okay? Watch, when I insert the holster, it locks the gun in. When I rotate the hood, that's another level of security. When, without the sentry guard, I'd be able to just smack down on the hood and it would rotate forward. So the sentry guard keeps the hood from being able to smack down and the actual hood itself right here, I don't know the actual nomenclature, but the hood itself here, keeps one from being able to grab the gun by disengaging the SLS hood, okay? So we call level four, level five. Whatever you wanna do, that's up to you. But however many levels of your holster, you need to be able to properly disengage them, all right? So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that hand, it could be dangling, if okay, but if I have the muscular strength, I wanna put that, fire, that hand, my strong hand, or what was my strong hand, center of mass on my chest. I wanna take my support hand, and I want to disengage the sentry guard, rotate the hood downward, grab or disengage with your thumb the ALS lock, pull up on the grip, establish a good grip on the firearm itself, put it in between your thighs without touching the trigger, okay? 
grab the grip and extend outward like so, okay? And as you can see, the firearm is not straight up, but it's canted at a 45 degree angle. Imagine throwing a punch and how you are able to use your pectoral muscles, how they tighten up. It's like throwing a punch. You stabilize that firearm in your hand when you turn your hands inward, pop, pop, pop. Now I wanna return this firearm back to my holster. There are two ways you could do it. Uh, you might be able to do it this way if you have good forearm strength. However, you can sit there, keep your finger off of the trigger, return this firearm, and I like the bent index over the ejection port. That way I'm nowhere near the trigger. You can return that firearm back to your thighs, grab the grip of the firearm without touching the trigger guard, insert that firearm back inside, assure that it locks, close it up like so. Here we go. Pop, 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 turn it back. Know the limitations of your holster, people. Know the limitations of your holster. We'll do a couple more. And as you can see, I'm not cheating myself. I'm not failing to activate one more safety over the other. You train as you fight. Now, if you know it's gonna take you a little bit longer for you to get that gun out of your holster, you might wanna seek some type of cover or concealment, okay? This is Instructor Mike and you have been trained. Follow me on Facebook at Mike Brown Instructor Mike. Follow me on Instagram at Yes Mike Said It. Subscribe to my YouTube page, Instructor Mike. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications. I'll see you around. It's no one's job to protect you but you. Get your butt in somebody's concealed carry course. Arr! Stay safe.